Hello, it's Josh here from SBC, and today I'm here to talk to you about Optimum Racing. With the national hunt season about to get it into full swing, um, we're kind of winding up on a flat now. This is the perfect time to talk about Optimum Racing as it specialises in chase races. It's run by Andrew Lowry, who many of you will know as the co-host of the ProBet podcast. Um, if you haven't listened to that, where Andrew presents with Mark Holder, I can't recommend it highly enough. Um, they give so many uh, pointers to how to bet profitably on horses. So that's a very good aside. Um, Andrew's also been a guest on the SBC podcast with Pete, as well as appearing on the Betting People series with Simon Knott. Um, I'll link up both of those things underneath so you can watch those for yourself. Um, in those interviews, Andrew talks about how he finds his edge. In his own words, he probably describes it a lot better than I will. Um, there are places where you can get to know him quite well. An overview of the service. So Andrew uses sectional timing um, to derive most of his edge. So for those of you who aren't familiar, sectional timing looks at the overall time of races, um, but then more looks at how those races were run. So the fractions throughout. Um, what you will find is that some horses may win and appear to be, do so very comfortably. But then when you look at the clock um, and look at what their competition did, that might tell a different story. And with um, winners often being overbet the next time out, this can provide um, a lot of betting opportunities, um, especially if you've got um, some inside knowledge of how horses have maybe performed well and not won. Alongside this, Andrew has an encyclopedic knowledge of all of the chase horses. Um, he knows uh, the ground that they like to run on, left-handed, right-handed tracks, uh, what kind of tracks suit them, so whether it's flat or undulating. Um, he also knows a lot about their jumping and what their tendencies seem to be. Um, and this just gives him that little bit extra than you'll find with most tipsters. Um, and he also has knowledge that it would be very take a very long time to get yourself, so definitely somebody to listen to. Um, I will look at the overall results a little bit later on, or you can do so yourself on our sales page. But Optimal Racing has a historical ROI of 23.82%, and that's since Andrew started proofing with us in 2015. So we're spanning, what's that, eight years of successful tipping on chase racing. Now, Andrew tips and he aims for a 20 to 25 percent edge. And so we can see that that 23.82 falls pretty much bang in the middle of that. But what that doesn't tell you is the full story of the service. Um, that's just a fraction of what you get as an optimum um, racing follower. Um, Andrew records a daily podcast um, and there's also some other facets to the service that you can sign up to that I'm just going to get on to now. So as I said, account bets, they're the ones that Andrew puts forward with a stake and an advised price. They're the ones that all of our records are based on. So they're his strongest selections where he feels that he's got a sizable edge. Um, you'll be able to see those in a bet by bet record on our website going right back. And that's where we're getting all these headline figures from. But like I say, that's just a fraction of what he offers. So within um, his daily communication, often in text messages or definitely in his email, he will list horses of interest. Now, they're horses that maybe he thinks have got a very, very good chance of winning or that provide value, but maybe a little bit less than 20%. So maybe they offer a 10 or 15% edge, but they're not quite big enough of a margin to get onto an account bet. Um, now, within the podcast, so there's a daily podcast. Whenever there's chase racing, Andrew records a podcast and sends that out by email. He goes through each chase race one by one. So today, um, I'm recording this on the 5th of September. Bangor was the only national hunt meeting. Um, and the two chase races on the card were the 3 o'clock and 3.35. Andrew talked through both of those races, discussed the most likely winner, where he thought there might be a little bit of value and basically reveals his tissue prices. So if, if the market says a horse is six to four and Andrew makes even money, he'll obviously tell us about that. Um, but he also might tell us about horses that have been too heavily backed or where the order um, of preference in the market is different from his own opinion. That provides lots of opportunities for bets. And I'll get onto my private betting record in a second. Um, to show how profitable following that is. 
So as you can see at the bottom here with further angles, um, as I just said, there'll be lots of opportunities to back horses, to lay horses. Um, and it's really just up to you how you use the service. Some people just use account bets. I know Andrew's told me that before. Whereas others who are similar to myself like to maybe get a bit more uh, by turning over their money more, um, at maybe lower stakes. Um, other options within membership are um, a flat service that runs at places like Ascot, York, Goodwood, the big meetings, where Andrew will provide daily selections. Um, that's an extra paid service, it's optional on top of your membership. Um, in addition to that, something I have subscribed to and I'll show you the results for in a second is the late information service. So here it's where Andrew's got some contacts in the industry, in yards, trainers, fellow professional betters. And when um, he gets some strong information, he shares that by text message. Um, you can pay for those bets um, in one batch or you can pay as you win. So that's completely up to you. Um, and I'll share my results for those in a second. There have been some very, very bad beats this year, but they are still profitable. So I shared this on a blog that I'll link up in a second earlier in the year. And I think that went up to about April time. I think it might have been after Cheltenham. But these are my results to date. So this goes right up to today. Um, I've split my betting record from optimum down into three categories. So those top ones there, advised bets, as you can see, 56, they're account bets. I've staked 120 points and I've made a uh, near enough seven point profit with 5.78% ROI. Now within that record, there is some frustration. So I think I missed one or two winners. Um, there was an occasion as well where I took a horse early and because I was betting on the exchange, I didn't really split my bet up enough and it won at a much bigger price. Now, this is these two latter sections are really what I want to draw your attention to, because like I said before, the advice bets are all covered on our sales page. But these mentions, so as you can see, there's five times more mentions than advice bets or near enough. Um, I've staked um, level stakes with those um, and I've obviously garnered a very good profit and loss, just over 20 percent. And the late information service, um, I think I did mention this earlier as well, there was two or three horses in a row that basically got beaten on the line. Um, you would not believe the variance within that record. So I think one of them was seven to two, there was another 11 to two, both win only bets. Um, they would have made a massive difference because this is such a small sample. But as you can see, it's still profitable, um, only marginally, but um, driving profit within this portfolio. Now you'll see that the point state might seem a bit um, off. That's because I've normalized this. So all of them are at um, a similar stake. Um, obviously, I've changed my staking as the year's gone on. Basically, what I've tried to do is make them all um, the same level of bet. So that's why the numbers aren't quite round. Basically, what we can see, close enough to 15% ROI overall. Um, I stake quite heavily on this service because I've seen the edge. Obviously, did a lot of work on this last year, and that's what drew me in. Um, it's just a very, very solid service. Um, really impressed with basically every part of it so far. Um, the podcasts are great. I'm learning along the way and I'm making some very good profits. Now, I'm going to leave this up for a second while I switch over to another tab. But um, due to the extra facets of the service that I'm introducing, I'd like to encourage you to get in touch if you have any questions. So you can do that by emailing me at josh at smartbettingclub.com. You can also contact us through the website or through Twitter at SBC Info. Um, a link to SBC Josh will also be on there. Um, before I leave you, what I'll do, I'll just switch across to the sales page. Now, for those of you who do want more information, on this page we have an interview with Andrew. We have um, basically it, more of a detailed look at how he finds his edge. There's a link to our SBC podcast. Um, there's reasoning around why Andrew's linked up with us. Um, historical performance, this is annual performance. Um, some extra benefits of membership. Now this is where you'll find the blog post, so that blue line there, and it'll bring you through to here. And what I've done for you in here, did this back in April, is provided you some little snippets of information. So what's really good about this, well, what I liked about this was, that we've got a podcast example. So if you just click this play button, I won't do it now. Um, I'll leave it to you to listen to at your leisure. It gives an example of one of Andrew's daily podcasts. So that was on the 22nd of April, coincidentally my birthday. Um, and what I did was I typed up basically what um, how Andrew's selections performed on that day. 
Now, this might seem um, like a good day, but I can honestly say it's quite um, representative of what you get from him. Um, you do get these days where he just calls every single race right, and that's great. Um, there's one other thing that I'd like to really draw your attention to on this page because it was important for me. Um, Andrew's service works on exchanges. So what you'll often find is that you'll beat the win prices quite considerably on the exchanges, either at the time the bets are released or at the off. And you will probably just about match the place terms. So um, the typical pattern we see with win and place uh, markets on Betfair. Um, what I would encourage you to do is just have a read through this if you're interested. Lots of information in here. And like I said before, if you have any further questions, uh, please just let me know. The last question you have to ask yourself if you're looking at the service is whether it's suitable for you. Now, under here, we've asked you some questions um, for you to have a look at. This will really show you whether Optum is for you or not. So, like I said, the selectivity is quite flexible. You can choose just one or two bets a week, or you can do what I do and have 10 or 12 a week. Um, can you bet on exchanges? Some of you are abroad and you can't. That's something to think about. Um, you may want to mix it up with some um, bookmakers. Have you got bookmakers of extra places? Because they'll be very useful. And um, basically what we will say though is we can put um, our stamp of approval on optimal racing. I've used it personally um, since January 1st this year. And Andrew's obviously been working with Pete since 2015. Now on this page, you can also see the pricing. Um, there's discounted rates for SBC members, around about half price. Um, it doesn't work out quite that way, but near enough half price. Um, one thing that I will bring to your attention, and I'll be bringing this to the attention of SBC members, Andrew's going to be running a six-month special because it's, he's now in his 25th year. Now, the, the exact details of that we'll keep to SBC members, but if you are interested at all, um, and you're really having a good look at Optimum Racing, signing up for the SBC is a no-brainer because the amount that you'll save on a subscription here will be um, quite a big multiple of what your annual membership cost will be with us here at the SBC. So if Andrew Lowry is someone you've been looking at before, or if you're looking to add a chase racing service into your betting portfolio, this is the place to come. And if you're interested, please get in touch.